a practice group. Um, I'll be addressing confidential business information, or CBI, under TOSCA, which I assume for many of you is a really important topic. <laughs> uh, so we'll first review how to make uh, how to make and assert CBI claims under TOSCA, uh, the process for substantiating CBI claims, which is a requirement under, uh, under TOSCA that was uh, passed under the Lautenberg Amendments, uh, the process for challenging EPA if EPA denies a CBI claim, and also EPA's process for reviewing CBI claims, uh, exemptions from the protection of disclosure, meaning information that EPA is authorized to disclose, um, and uh, the chemical um, EPA CBI review plan and its issuance of unique identifiers, which uh, Matt Harney covered a little bit in his Section 5 presentation. Um, EPA's enhanced um, uh, availability and uh, public access to information that is sanitized. And then lastly, uh, EPA's recent what we call declassification efforts, which is EPA's recent efforts to move certain confidential substances on EPA's, uh, on the um, confidential portion of the TOSCA inventory to the public portion of the TOSCA inventory, which some of you all might be familiar with. <clears throat> 